Stop right there! You're on Pripyat Bradfa turf now! I'm... what? Where? Bradfa! Pripyat Bradfa! You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Yeah, I'm a tourist. My name is Igor. What's going on? Bradfa runs this place, that's what's going on. Pripyat Bradfa. And you will obey the rules, Igor the tourist. What is this? Bratva? Bratva is Sasha, Grisha, Oleg, Vova, and Aloysia. And Evgeny. Interesting. And where are all these guys? Let me think. Uh, Sasha got arrested. Grisha was shot. Uh, Oleg fell to his death. Vova drowned. Aloysia overdosed. Only Evgeny is left. And I take it that Evgeny is you? Evgeny is me. 
I'm the last man standing. I'm the Pripyat Prat for now. I made the rules, you got it, tourist? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You make the rules. Good. I like you already. Just remember the number one rule. Don't fuck with us. Nobody fucks with Bratpa, tourist or no. You know, you listen pretty well. I've decided to let you join our gang. You can be my second in command. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you. You can help me, friend. I'm looking for a woman. Her name's Tatyana Amilieva. Tatiana? Ah, a beautiful name. She sounds like a beautiful woman. Tell me, do you have some photos? Uh, uh no. No, I, I had one, but... Uh... Ah, too bad. I've never heard of her. She's your woman, right? <laughs> ah, love. I was in love once, Ksenia. Oh, what a woman she was. She promised to cut my balls off if I ever betrayed her. <laughs> and did she? What a funny guy you are. <laughs> I already like you. Nah, she didn't. She dumped me. But she said I was too smart for her. Uh, so, uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, there's something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers have been running around like crazy lately. And there's this creepy fuck with a black mask hunting for something. Whatever it is, it's bad for business. He leaves me alone, but he scares my customers. So you do have other customers? What did I just say? That fucker's been scaring him away. If it wasn't for him, this place would be busier than the Ismailovsky market. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know. Duh. I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Each box is totally random? Duh. My loot boxes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest fasologier in our neighborhood. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot on me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A broad for secret. I better be going now. Broad for forever, Igor. Finish the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Uh, use your eyes, genius! God, that goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us! Here, this should get you back on your feet. Thank you. I won't forget this.
I think this approach is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important. But last time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun, I know from experience. 
Forget to feed your troops, and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient. Plan. Strategize. Take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for.